Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths video, and this time it's a guide on how to make a sinking ship, or a sinking Titanic if you like. Uh, a number of people, including uh, Cryogen Gaming, asked me how do I make a ship sink so smoothly and slowly uh, without making holes in it, so um, I thought I'd better get on and uh, show how I'd done that. Uh, before I do though, uh, if you're going to be making a Titanic, this is sort of a guide on how to make the Titanic, um, a ship of this size. Um, now this thing is converted from Minecraft but you can build it from scratch and to make a sort of perfect sinking Titanic uh, there are certain materials and order you need to put them in so the the, uh, the draft of the ship uh, on this version anyway is 18 blocks the draft is 18 blocks high which is the red section uh, and it's made out of heavy armor now that is the heaviest material in the game and of course to make the ship balance you're gonna need the heaviest at the bottom and the lightest at the top so the draft like I say is, is uh, heavy armor that's 18 blocks high now the mid, mid part of the ship the black section is made out of metal that is another 18 blocks uh, so that's metal and then the top section of the ship including the decks so the, the white superstructure the decks and also the funnels and other things they're all made out of light alloy so you've got the heavy at the bottom and light at the top that is the the balance for it and the decks inside you don't really need to make the full uh, set of decks either so we've got the compartments down here which are basically empty uh, and then you got the decks above, so you got one, two, three, about three or three or four decks in place, and then there's sort of a gap. Uh, I don't know where I've got all the decks in place. I think we've got all the decks actually in place on this one, but only a few of them are actually watertight. So uh, that is that. So like I say, you get the red, at the, uh, the heavy at the bottom, and light at the top. All right. So uh, to work on the uh, sinking part of the ship you're going to need to put uh, compartments in the ship now this thing's got about 10 compartments each uh, going right to the top now these things need to be sealed off okay so they need to be made into individual compartments right to the top uh, of the deck or right to the deck right up to the deck above so and in my case they go above some of the decks they go above about three decks uh, into the ship so it doesn't matter how high they are but uh, they all have to be sealed off at the top okay and then each compartment needs an air pump inside so each compartment, I think there's ten compartments, I'll just check, so that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, so there's thirteen compartments and uh, each one, like I say, has got an air pump inside there's also compartments above as well, like I, like I showed you, the, the, the uh, bulkheads go up a bit higher but uh, and also these, these compartments have bulk um, air pumps inside as well so although these are not necessarily needed for your purpose say you, you want to make a simple sinking this is just to make the, the ship level out a bit more um, so that was that so we've got the compartments all sealed off and we've got uh, all air pumps inside now to control the sinking of the ship if I just give you a demonstration if I just press one button the ship will tip forward and sink downwards now to counteract that I press another button and it will unsink the ship. Right, so the purpose, or what you're going to need actually first, is to create a or build a complex controller, which is this thing here. It's in the control section of the uh, of the from the depths uh, build inventory. So you plonk one of them down, put your character next to it in a chair if you like, and that will control pretty much everything. So if I, I can't really go into the go uh, into the uh, mapping of it. So that's the uh, complex comp uh, complex controller. And that will control the uh, compartment, uh, the the air pumps inside the compartments. Now, if we go inside the ship, we go down to each compartment. So we've got an air pump here. So this is the forward section of the ship. We just click, press Q on the uh, air pump, and what I've done, I've got red selected on T, and green selected on up. So I want what it is. If I press T, that will switch the compartment off, and it it will do it gradually. So if you look at the slider up at the top here. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but uh, if you look at the slider from the top left, if I hold and pre press and hold T, you can see the slider moves along. And if you look on the uh, the green, it says up, and that is to turn the uh, air pump back on. So I press up, and it turns the air pump back on, bringing the ship back up. So that's that. So if I get out of that, so that is that that uh, one there. So if I go to the next to air pump. I've got the same selected there, and it's the same T and up. So you can reassign a different button. So if you press or click on the T and get rid of it, it's one click for green, which is on, and then two clicks for red. So it's off. So 
when it's when it's unselected, you press once for green and then twice for red. So, and you can assign that to any key on here. So you've only got a selected number of keys. Those that's T Y U I O G H J K L, as well as up, down, left, and right on the uh, keypad. So that is those things there. And what I've done uh, with the ship having 13 compartments, uh, I think it's the first five compartments I have are selected with or assigned with the T. So this is another part. If I just go to the next one along and check this one, so this one here is assigned with T again. So I just go to the next one, and this one, oh, where's the, oh, there it is. This one is assigned with Y. So this is the next line of compartments, and so I've got about probably about two or three of these assigned with Y. So it just makes the ship sink down gradually. So if I just get back out again, so if I press T, like I showed you before, that will bring the bow down only so far. So that's all the way, that's the compartments switched off. Okay, that's the T ones signed and switched off. And the ship will go down gradually until it gets to a point where the buoyancy will take over and it won't go down any further. So it is going down enough, but you can control it, like I say, you can make it go down much slower. So that's the T compartments uh, flooded. We'll just move over see if the ship has stopped. Yep, so the ship has stopped. And what I do, I shall now press the Y, and the Ys go down. That's about another two or three compartments going down. This is also in compartments above as well, I did show you. Uh, there are two decks above which have air pumps inside as well. So the ship's going down a bit more. So that's the Y compartments. And I think I've got it assigned all the way up to K, so if we just let the ship go down enough. And it should stop any seconds. We've got the propellers out of the water, so you can see the balance is uh, moving forward. So there we go. There's the ship stopped. I'll just pop to the stern a second because I want to know uh, what compartment, what these ones are assigned at. So the ones in the stern are assigned with K. So we've gone all the way from T all the way along to K. So it's uh, what I see. So what I could do is we've got the ship as it is. If I press the K ones, we can probably bring the stern down. And that's not worked because the K1, of course, is above the waterline, so that's not really going to be an effect. So, so that's all. That's the compartments working. So if I bring the ship back up again, we we'll just press and hold up, and that will uh, <laughs> right the ship back up, or launch it into space in this case. And it should all line up nice and neat. So it also, like I say, it also helps you know having all the right materials. Um. But if you do build the ship with the red at the bottom in in, in this order that are the materials, sometimes the draft of the ship will still be quite a way above the water. So you can put, if I go inside, you can put more materials in. If you look at the bottom of the ship here, it's blue. That is extra ballast as well. That is all metal. So I've lined the bottom of the ship with metal to uh, make it more buoyant and sort of lower it down. It adds weight to it as well. It makes the sinking a bit more um, uh, a bit more realistic, if you like. So. We just pop along and make sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to think how how deep is the blue. So the blue is two blocks deep. So that is that shows you how deep the uh, blue is. And I've just rearranged, re replaced those blocks with wood. But uh, there's there's two blocks deep with metal just to bring the buoyancy down or, or bring the center of gravity down. And uh, the center of mass is still quite high. It's about roughly on the waterline. So yeah, the waterline that the center of mass is about right. So, what I can do now, we've just uh, we've just re-floated the ship. So what I can do now, I can use, I can press K, and then sink the ship from the back end. So we just, I'm holding K, and now the stern's going down, although slowly, because I think only one compartment is assigned with is assigned with K. So that's the next one along. The next one along is J. So I press J, and that one switches the next compartment off, and then H. That turns off another compartment. So we're sinking the ship back in now. But it gives you an idea you can control each and every compartment. Uh, what's the next one? So G will be the next one. And like I say, you don't have to press and hold the compartment. The, the compartment you sort of press and tap it just to slow the, the sinking down. But if I bring the ship back up again. Now the ship floats perfectly again. You can control it as much as you want. It's the only thing that isn't realistic of course is the breakup. I mean you cannot break the ship apart e easily. I did do a video 
back in April where I did have the ship break in half, but that took a lot of uh, explosives and things and uh, it really didn't pay off or work out too well. But anyway, we're back at the bow now, so I can make the ship sink a lot slower now. So if I just press T, sort of tap it, and it will bring the ship down very slowly. As you can see, it's, it is gradually going down as opposed to holding it, and it'll just go down like a torpedo. So you can probably time this out and spread the time out over the full two and two and a half hours the ship took to sink. So you can probably do a full video of this sort of thing, but I've just done it quickly. So you see, they can bring the ship down to that height, or you can bring it down to the full height. So if I press uh, T, Y, and U all together, or T and U, or T and T and Y, turn them off, and then turn Y, uh, U, and I off. So turn those compartments off, and that'll just bring the ship down completely. So that's a, that's a, that's a rough guide, you know. It's, it's the best of my uh, best I can explain something, but uh, you can do all sorts of uh, different things. Uh, with this sort of thing so if I just do a quick jump cut and load up another ship so we'll load up Britannic so bear with me a second okay back again now I've got another ship here which is the Britannic and I've done another video of this thing uh, sinking gradually uh, and also had the propellers turning and things like that but it's the same ship before as the Titanic you know it's just a few changes uh, to the cosmetics on the top and a different color of course so it's, it's basically the same ship though uh, but the insides are laid out slightly differently so now we've got compartments going full length of the ship but we've also got longitude uh, a bulkhead in the middle of the ship separating the, the uh, compartments in half so it's basically the ship now is an ice cube tray so you've got two compartments on one side as well as the other side now this makes the ship sinking a bit more tricky but uh, also more rewarding as well so on the left uh, well on the right actually we've got uh, a, a, a control somewhere there we are there's the uh, air pump so on the uh, right hand side of the ship we've got T still so T and up to turn it off and on so you can see my cursor this time and then if I get out if we go on to the right hand side of the, or the left hand side of the ship we've got to G and up so what I've what I've got so the left hand side of the ship are controlled by G H J K and L and the right hand side of the ship are controlled by T Y U I and O as well as the up turning every compartment back on so this is the same process as with the Titanic just we've got uh, two lines of compartments so if I just zoom out again and press the uh, the G compartments and the ship will dip at the bow but also list to one side so if we just bring the ship down so you can see she's still sinking at the bow but then she'll tip over to one side as you can see bringing on the uh, the list that Britannic had although the other way of course so you can see she's listing over and you can control that a lot more as well so bring the bow down so what was it? it was G and then if I turn on H the ship will go down a bit more so turn on H and the ship will list even more so it's it's controlling the side compartments as, as well now so it's uh, just bringing the ship down so if I press T now that will bring the bow down more on an even keel so it's leveling out so we've gone left hand compartments and now just leveling out bringing down the right hand compartments so it's, it's, it's quite good how you can control the uh, sinking of this thing. It's much, much better than just blasting a hole in the side, but you know, if you're doing, it f uh, doing a fictional video, you've got to find a reason to sink it. So Anyway, we've got the, uh, the compartments controlled. Uh, I did have the propellers working on the model as well. I don't think it was this one, because I did use two or three models in that video with the propeller spinning in the lifeboat, uh, hitting the propeller and things like that. So it was sort of two or, two or three separate uh, models. But as you can see, we've got the ship more level now, but not as level. So we've got G and H turned off. So if I press J now, that will tip the ship over a bit more. So like I say, it's the same process as before, the on and off switch, but uh, this time we've got them separated into two categories. So the, like I say, the top category of T, Y, U, I, and O do the right hand side, and the G, H, J, K, L do the left hand side. And also depends how high your compartments are. Well, I mean, I've got decks inside the ship as well, but really, you, you don't need to have all these decks inside. This just makes things more complicated, really. So you can have just a big open space with no with no uh, decks in there at all. You could just have the bulkhead going right to the top of the uh, up to the, the bottom of the superstructure if you like. 
Um, it may need some recalculating with uh, the buoyancy of the uh, the hull, but it depends on the material you use. Say if you're going to use uh, a bulkhead going, like I say, from the bottom of the ship right to the uh, the top of the hull, then I'd suggest using light alloy for that. Because uh, if you use anything heavier than that, it may uh, unbalance the ship. But uh, the way I've done it, I've used uh, metal, so we've got two decks in between, which are made out of light alloy. Sort of, it, it, it's it balances everything out. It's just you know, it's all trial and error, really. But if you're building the Titanic like this one, or my my Titanic, Titanic basically from the tutorial, then you just use the same uh, the same components. So you have got the red heavy armor draft, uh, the black made out of metal, and then the white superstructure index made out of light alloy, as well as the funnels and things like that. So it's all um, trial and error. But this is just the way I've got this done. So I've got uh, compartments wise, we've got G, H, and J switched off. So if I press K again, now I will. Bring the ship over a bit more, I think, or will it? I don't know. Well, we've got a bit more lean at the stern now, so if I press Y, that'll bring the bow down. So, this is not the best model, I will admit, because, I, like I said, I did use two or three models for the sinking, so this is sort of a a dummy one, really, just sort of the, the shallow sinking, but uh, I did have another one which did the full sinking, so apologies if this hasn't gone to plan. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's the way things go. Now, if you, like I say, though, if you're going to be building a ship out of these materials, then um, you're going to need the heavy materials. Because if you're building a ship out of out of uh, light alloy um, or wood, then the ship won't sink at all. It's just you know, a wasted opportunity there. But you, you, you're going to need the heavy materials. So uh, a small ship, you're probably going to want to make it out of um, metal. Or heavy armor and light alloy. It's it's a mixture of the things. It it just depends on the buoyancy. You just got to try and get the buoyancy right. Um, but um, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a complex thing to get this thing right. And also, as from the depths is now sort of an unstable game. It uh, does make life a bit tricky. So uh, it uh, is a bit of uh, faffing about. But uh, we're in shallow water again, which is a problem. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, if we get rid of. Uh, Britannic again now. I don't think I've got any other ships that, that are in this sort of thing. So we've got Titanic 2018 there. I'll just load up the Titanic again because this is, you know, it's, it is the, the sort of the working thing. So there we go. So we've got the Titanic back again. It always spawns low in the water, so it will just rise, you know, by, as by magic. So there we go. That's the Titanic back. And uh, just recap again. So the um, this is the uh, sort of lo uh, widthways compartments. Whereas Britannic had a uh, sort of a split down the middle. So, but the first five compartments, first five or six compartments are assigned, like I say, with the T and the up button. The up button is always important. That's the refloating device. So that's all that. But you can reassign other things. And it's not just um, air pumps that it will control as well. The complex control. You mean I did have the propellers running on the Britannic. Um, you can control the propellers. There's loads of other things you can control. It just depends whether the the the, the component you've attached or the, the component you've got will be assigned to um, the complex controller. Because you can't actually edit the complex controller, but you can edit the things that are assigned to it. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, we just like I say, recap again. You got the T, and then the up T for off, which is red. And then the green for off, for for on. So it's basically T turns it off, green turns it on. So we can, you can assign any key you want, but I just got the T to turn it off and the up, which is sort of bringing the ship up. Um, but it's also the same thing I've done with the the raise the Titanic as well. If I, if I get out of there, get rid of this, and then try and reload. I don't know where it is actually. If I still got the, the Titanic, raise the Titanic thing. I don't know if I actually kept it or not. I've got about 10 different versions of the Titanic so I don't know. No, I don't think I have. Um, that's a shame. Actually, if I put them in alphabetical order, it may make, make sense. Of alphabetical order. Let me... Alphabetical order, there we go. Uh, I think I may have called it Rays. So if I find Rays... There it is. Raise the Titanic. 
and wait for it to load. And there, there we are. Right, so there's our raised the Titanic model, which is but again the same model, but just sort of crapped up a bit more. Got the, cut the funnel off, and uh, just dulled the colour a bit more, so it makes it look shitty. So it's the same thing, but this time the compartments are arranged backwards. So we've got only a couple of compartments as well. So I've removed all the compartments inside, and we've got just two compartments. So. The, the, the back compartment is Y uh, is Y for up and down for off so if I go to the bow one this one will be obviously T T for on and down for off so if I get back out and we turn the compartments off by pressing down the ship will sink of course so I just bring the ship down and then to raise the ship up I just press T to bring the, no the nose up and then uh, Y to bring the stern up so I do this Let's wait for it to go down. I don't know how deep the water is here, but it's not very deep, so it's not going to take a long time. But uh, <laughs> it looks weird, doesn't it? And the seagulls are annoying as well because they keep following the camera. So wherever uh, wherever I am, the bloody seagulls are. See, they're following me again. All right, so we've got the ship down. Uh, still going down, but anyway, we've got the ship going down. So if I press T now, press and hold T. And that will bring the nose of the ship up. Now, it works better in deeper water, of course, and you can bring the ship up like it was in the movie. It just zooms out the water. But you can bring the nose up. Like so. So press T to bring the nose up, gradually like that. And as you saw in the video, this, the ship sort of come out almost vertically and just shot out the water and then come back down level. So as you can see, they've got the, uh, the bow out of the water and then just bring the stern up. And it is a bit tricky this one because it will sort of try and launch the ship out of the water as you can see. So you may need to bring it up um, sort of more gradually, but it will bring the ship up and level it out a bit more. But it's quite good how it works, you know, you can sort of do these funny tricks. And there we go, we've got a completely raised Titanic again now. So, but yeah, you, you can play around with these things, and you know, it's. It is uh, an achievement when you get it right. I mean, this thing didn't take very long to sort out. It's just just getting the colours right was a, was a, a thing. But uh, it's basically just went into the uh, the the, the uh, colour palette and just changed the the uh, density of the colour. So it's, it's the same ship basically, uh, with the funnel cut off. But uh, yeah, everything uh, works out. So like I said, this thing is basically completely hollowed out in terms of compartments. So you've only got the two. And uh, yeah, it makes things interesting. So that is uh, a rough guide on the complex complexity of the air pumps. And I do apologise if I do sound like a prat at the moment, but you know, I sort of I struggle to, <laughs> to find things to say. But I've given you a rough guide. If you don't understand what I said, then I'm sorry, but I'll try and do it again then. But uh, uh, we shall see. So um, I'll leave it at that. So I hope this has been helpful to some people. Uh, not all, but uh, a few. But uh, anyway, we'll leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return, hopefully, with another video. So uh, bye for now.